Yo, what is going on everyone? This is Steven, aka the Poké Technician, back here bringing you another battle. Uh, today we are back with our playoff run in the Palkia's Battle Cosmos League. We are currently 8-0 heading into the first round of playoffs, and we are facing off against Joshua, who we played actually in the final week of the regular season. So we did end up beating him in a 6-0 fashion, and I really strongly doubt that's going to happen again. Um, this round is going to be best of three. So you can look out for battles number two and number three coming out over the next couple days. Um, the other thing is we are allowed to switch teams in between battles. So whatever Pokemon are on our roster are fair game. Um, that has some pretty serious implications especially against an opponent like this who has such a powerful team consisting of mons like Draco Zolt, Tyranitar, of course. He's got um, Crobat, just all kinds of big threats. He's got Blastoise, guys. He's got Blastoise sitting back there. So we've definitely got our work cut out for us here. Let me turn up the music a little bit for you guys. I'm going to be periodically doing this. Let's see how this sounds. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Um, anyhow, we are going to have our work cut out for us for sure here. So let me show you our team. If you missed it last week, go back and check that video out. It was really great. We're going to bring the same exact team to start things off with here. Um, and I do believe it is this one right here. Uh, it's consisting of Corsola, Galar, Weezing, Zeraora, Gardravor, Hydreigon and Seismitoad. You can see actually a variety of items <laughs> comparatively to what I have some weeks. Some, some weeks it's like all choice scarfs and assault vests, but I mean, we're eight no, so it works, I guess. Anyhow, um, basically his team is very physical. So I have a very strong, bulky physical core here in Galarian Corsola and the Weezing, uh, along with just a bunch of hard hitters, really. So not much. <laughs> involved in this. I did bring a few swing mons that we can check in in between battles if we need to. Uh, but but for now, for me, we won 6-0 last time. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's go with this team. And let's see. Oops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get me out of here. And yep, that looks like the right rule set. And we will let this battle get underway. All right. So this time he is bringing a very different team. Very, very, very different team, but always the ingenious uh, ingenious team builder that I am. I've prepared for all scenarios, of course. Now, one moment, I have to check this out. I wanna double check if this is the one I'm thinking or not. No, Earth Power, okay. So, I think our lead he has no immunities at all to Zero Aura. But he could lead with something that would be a nuisance for it. I think I will just lead the Seismitoad again. Call me crazy, but uh, I don't want him getting rocks up, really, is the thing. You know what? Maybe I will go with this here Hydreigon. Yeah, I think the Hydreigon is actually a pretty good play here. All right, so you can see the Hydreigon is rocking that expert bell. It does dish out, dish out some pretty good damage uh, with its super effective moves. So the idea here is hopefully this can get me a little bit of momentum if he does decide to lead with something like a Uxie that wants to set the rocks. Um, I'd have to decide between whether I want to U-turn or if I want to... Okay, he does lead the Uxie, so... Kind of what we predicted here. So now we have to decide if we want a Dark Pulse or U-Turn. U-Turn is safe, but it's not gonna do a lot. Uh, Dark Pulse, I don't think will KO either. This thing's pretty freaking bulky. Uh, but Dark Pulse really is our best play in this situation. Is that Azumarill a big concern for me? Uh, somewhat, but I do have the Power Whip for it. Okay, good, good. Um, and yeah, I've got some things that can check it pretty well. So what I'm going to do here is just proceed to click the Dark Pulse. We'll see what he decides to go for here. We're going to click the Dark Pulse, get that off. 
Does some really good damage. A flinch would be great. No, nope. oh, Dazzling Gleam, that's gonna kill. Yep, straight KOs us. So that's pretty bad, that's pretty bad, really. Man. I knew he could have a Dazzling Gleam, but this thing has such a diverse moveset. But the good thing is now, um, no more rocks for him. So that's very, very nice. I think here what we can do is just go into this here guy. And we're not going to leave him in because this thing is our late game win con. So what we're going to do here is click the knockoff. If he wants to bring in the ditto, that's fine. If he wants to switch in another way, that's fine. But this will kill. So we end up taking out the Uxie with this. This here is Zira Aura. Man, I'm pretty upset that he packed the Dazzling Gleam. That was a really good move on his part. Really good move on his part. I'm trying to think if I'm like overly weak to a uh, fairy type, and I guess if I don't bring Cobalion, which is even neutral to it, you know? Yeah, kind of. A little bit, a little bit. All right, so he's running that imposter for the Zero Aura. Makes sense. And what we're going to do here, because we don't want our Scarf knocked off, really. Does anyone want anything knocked off, though, really? No. But anyhow, we're going to go out into the Seismitoad here. Very important Pokemon, but since he didn't bring the uh, Draco Zolt, I think it's a little bit less important in this match. We see, yep. Pretty much as I expected, the knockoff comes out. And he is orbed, okay, so that's fine. Um, does he have any, no more levitating mons. Here I think what we can do is go for a knockoff of our own to secure the late game for us potentially. Yeah, I think a knockoff is actually just a really good move here. He goes for the close combat, wow, that is a ballsy move. Okay, that's annoying, that's annoying. That is definitely annoying. So let's knock off that life orb. Pretty good damage, pretty good damage. Really wish I went for the earthquake, but I definitely expected him to switch out into the decidui there, so it is what it is. Um, anyhow, what we can do here, Trying to think of exactly what we want to do. I think we will go out into the Reef Reap. No, we don't want to get knocked off. We really don't want to get knocked off is the thing. Hold on a sec. Let me look at his team for a second. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So one thing we can do here. Man, I don't want to do that though either, really. I think I will go out into the wheezing, unfortunately. This is not a good situation for us to be in. Uh, Life Orb was a good bring on Ditto. It was, it was. I think here you're gonna see another knockoff. It was for the close combat again, okay. So that's fine. See, that's where I wish I hadn't knocked off the stupid Life Orb, <laughs> but anyhow. Neither here nor there. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, let's see. So now if he goes for the knockoff, there's not a lot that I want to go into. I think I will just stay in. And here we can go for, I think I'll just go for the clear smog. I hope this KOs. I really do hope this KOs, but you know, I have to stay in here. There's too much at stake. I've already sacked <laughs> like two mons pretty unnecessarily, but yeah, okay. So whew, that does take that down, fortunately. And we'll see what he decides to go into next. I'm wondering if it's the Blastoise. If I were him here, I would probably consider going Blastoise, but I mean, he did just see the clear smog, so that's kind of been blown the cover on that set a little bit. Oof, I am not comfortable with this game. Okay, he goes into the Ragna. All right, all right. Gets up the Sand Stream. And you know, you know without a doubt here, we are going for the Will-O-Wisp. Actually, I'm gonna go for the Will-O-Wisp. I don't want him Dragon Dancing. I just, I can't have that. I can't have that in my house. 
goes for the crunch. Same same idea as last time. And we do connect with the Will-O-Wisp this time, which is absolutely huge. Absolutely so important. I think at this point, he's probably kind of catching on to the fact that this is the exact same team. Um, anyhow, <clears throat> I'm going to go for the pain split. I think he'll just go for another crunch the way he plays. Yeah. No crit, no crit, no crit. Oh, thank God. Okay. That was terrifying. That was the most important moment of this match, maybe. <laughs> okay, so we got the burn on him. So that really, really reduces his usefulness. Don't have Hydreigon to go into, however. So keep that in mind. Um, here, I really want to keep this around for a last minute heal up, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go out into the guard for sure. What, what does he have in the back? He has, yeah, Azu, that can't, one, one co. So if I go for here, the fairy move, it's a pretty safe, pretty safe thing to do here. So let's go out into the guard before. He's just gonna go for another crunch, I, I feel it. I'm gonna copy the sand stream with my trace. That's pointless, doesn't do anything. Goes for the crunch, okay. Hopefully this only does like half. Yeah, okay, that's about what I expected. Sandstorm exists, burn exists, but that's okay. This should run out pretty shortly. It looks like he's choice. I'm just gonna go for a moon blast here. Okay, this should take him out, I think. I know, I know it's gonna take him out, even with the special <laughs> defense boost. He's under half, so that's gone. Sandstorm's still going. Okay, who's he going into next here? One mon at a time. This might be Azu Merrill, which would be pretty scary. I'm terrified of Azu right now. No, okay, it's Decidui. All right. And I might have to sack this. Um, whew, what else does this take on? Not that, not that, not that really. Okay, so it's not that big of a deal here to just go for another moon blast. If he wants to shadow sneak, that's fine. But here we're just gonna go for the moon blast. Yep, okay, no shadow sneak. That is super, super nice for us. We get almost, oh, he goes for poltergeist. That's gonna KO easily. Okay, so that's that. I do feel that I can still pull off this win uh, with zero aura. So he's going Poltergeist here. In the back, he's got Blastoise, which is scary. Um, this can outspeed it, no problem, no problem. So I think what I'll do is go into this, uh, my zero aura actually. And then proceed to click the Volt Switch, I think. As I do suspect, actually if I click, yeah, okay. Yeah, Volt Switch is great here. Let's go Volt Switch. Okay, so we click the Volt Switch. And here what we can do is we can just go right out into the Wheezing. And I suspect that he'll go for another Poltergeist, which I have no item, therefore I cannot be hit by that move. If you guys didn't know, that is the effect of Poltergeist. It, it does massive damage, but only to Pokemon who have items equipped, so. Kind of a cool little thing I can do there. And then here's where it gets touch and go, but I do just want to go for the Will-O-Wisp here. If he goes to Zazu, that's like the best case scenario. If he goes to Blastoise, okay, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. And he does <laughs> afford the will o -Wisp. What a joke, man. So now... I hope he goes for a Scald or something, a uh, water type move. If he goes Smash, that's a little scary. Can't let him Smash twice. I'm going to make the switch. I'm going to make the switch into Seismitoad. If he smashes here, that's really frustrating, though. 
But I'm gonna make the swi switch into Seismitoad. If this blows the game for me, then you know what? Maybe I'll learn from something here. If he smashes, that's really bad. Goes for the Surf, that's what I was predicting, okay. Perfect, so we hit him with the Water Absorb there, which is really, really nice. I don't think there's, well, did he knock off my Assault Dust though, didn't he? He did, he did, okay. So that is annoying, but I'm still going to try and get off the Power Whip here. Oh, we are faster than him. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. So we do some really big damage there with the Power Whip. And he decides to go for an Ice Beam, okay. I'm not sure if that'll KO. Nope, doesn't KO. We can easily, easily go for another Power Whip here. Come on, connect. Oh, we do connect, that's huge. Okay, so that's Blastoise down, awesome. Okay, I think Aqua Jet's still a problem. I think Azu comes out here, right? No, oh my God, okay. Perfect, this is actually great. This is like best case scenario. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is just go out on into the wheezing, you know? I don't think there's a lot he can really do to it. I mean, if he wants to U-turn, that's fine. Let's see. Decides to go for the U-turn. Okay, that's totally fine with me. I have legitimately zero problems with that. I'm just gonna stay in here and go for a Will-O-Wisp. Mm, I think. Maybe just a clear smog. If he bellies afterwards though, that's annoying. Yeah, let's just go for the Will-O-Wisp. I think that is the best move here. Go for the Will-O-Wisp, we do connect. If he bellies, then at least it's in half. I can take it on with the Corsola. No problems. Goes for the knockoff, so if we just stay in, that's like literally, <laughs> you can't do anything with that. Oh, I'm so glad it's not Belly Drum apparently. That's crazy, I'm gonna pain split him. We just win now, oh my gosh, whew. Okay, so I think we've got game one in the bag here. Oh, he does Belly Drum, okay. No, well, I don't think that's <laughs> very important actually at this point. I don't think he can kill me with a Aqua Jet from this range. At half health or half attack, I don't think he can do it. No, there's no way. There's no way. I'm just gonna clear smog him. Goes for the jet. Gonna do very little damage. Yeah. And we can just take that out with the clear smog. See, I was ready for this setup. I was ready for it, my friend. Don't get it twisted. I don't mess around when it comes to Pokemon. <laughs> Are you gonna sword dance now? No. <laughs> just kidding. So here we just go for the Will-O-Wisp. I assume he's, I, I don't know. He's probably got what? U-turn, shadow, uh, what am I saying? Poltergeist. U-turn, Poltergeist, Leaf Blade. Did we see a fourth move? Wonder what his fourth move is. Oh, knockoff, okay. That's fine. Weezing is taking souls today. Good night, sweet prince. Good night. I think Leaf Blade would definitely do more. Oh my god, I love it. Just the slow burn, <laughs> it's the slow roll to the end. Okay, so I think, did we end up with the, uh... hold on a second, I gotta, I gotta double check. Yeah, oh, okay, four, that's right. So Gardevoir did die, yeah. Okay, but I think we played it right. I think we played that Moonblast correctly, staying in. Um, yeah, glad he did not run the Shadow Sneak on that one. He's gonna go for that knockoff, not gonna do much of anything, all right. Well, I kind of forgot that this gets defogged too earlier when I was prepping, but he's got some pretty good removers. I hope he doesn't bring hazards. That's like my one fear. All right, good game. Good game to you, Joshua. Hey, I hope you guys really enjoyed that battle. Um, 
if that got you stoked, wait till you see the next one, guys. It's it's coming out tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled. In the meantime, uh, I really appreciate you all, all watching this video. This has been the Poketechnician signing out. Until next time, peace.